1921, a young rebellious black intellectual who hailed from Joplin, Missouri, penned the Negro Speaks of Rivers. I've known rivers. I've known rivers ancient as the world and older than the flow of human blood and human veins. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. I bathed in the Euphrates when dawns were young. I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked upon an Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abe Lincoln went down to New Orleans. And I've seen his muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I've known rivers. Yes, ancient dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. James Mercer Langston Hughes went on to become not only a poet, but an activist, novelist, playwright, innovator, and a leader of the Harlem Renaissance. The meaning in his poem is extremely symbolic to basic black history. We have a deep, long, meaningful, and rich history that is worthy of celebrating, learning, and recognizing not only in February, but we should do the same every day. Rivers have been here a long time, and so have we as black people. Now to take the elephant out of the room and to eliminate tension, celebrating black history is not an effort to alienate other ethnic groups, nor is celebrating black history a ploy to compete with other ethnic groups. There is a best-selling book that clearly teaches that all people belong to our creator. And that same best-selling book of all time also teaches that our Creator loves the entire world. Oh, lest some found guilty of plagiarism. You can find those facts on pages Colossians 1 and 6 and John 3 and 16, respectively. So, Black History Month, which should be Black History Every Day, is a serious but lighthearted time of commemorating in a specific way what has been unfortunately systematically withheld and minimized in antiquity. It has been said, what you don't know will kill you. At Oklahoma Community College, we agree with that conclusion. Not knowing, abiding in ignorance, not being enlightened will kill you. Harriet Tubman said, I freed a thousand slaves. I could have freed a thousand more if they only knew that they were slaves. What you don't know will kill you. Carl G. Wilson, who is credited as the founder of Black History Week in the 1920s and in the 1970s, President Gerald Ford felt generous and expanded Black History from a week-long event to a month-long celebration. Professor Whitson is credited with saying in his notable must-read book entitled The Miseducation of the Negro of writing black people of his day were being culturally indoctrinated rather than taught. What you do not know will kill you. The Prince of Peaceful Civil Disobedience, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. mentioned this, nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance and conscientious stupidity. What you do not know will kill you. Even, again, that all-time best-selling book has a blistering exhortation warning that admonishes readers to use wisdom when receiving information. As a notable upright character from us named Job was asked, who is this that darkeneth counsel by the words without knowledge? On page Job 38 and 2. Hence at Cahoma, we celebrate during the month of February and each month for that matter. We celebrate black history without animus or vitriol for others, but with the mindset of what you don't know will kill you. Our students need to know their rich and favorable history. We are hopeful that students will discover their true self by learning what our ancestors achieved, endured, and overcame. We're hopeful that students will know that it is important to read, research, and learn so that they can recognize and ignore misinformation relative to their people both then and now. We're hopeful that by learning of their ancestral history that they will have zero tendency to embrace self-hatred but always love one another. We're hopeful that this month will serve as a spark in the mindset of students so that they will become independent thinkers and not mere avatars or cast members who get played in the dramatic effort of keeping them in the dark. 
We're hopeful that students will take pride in who they are, as well as always remember who their people were. We're hopeful that students will have a heightened appreciation for education and training, while also personally see how our ancestors used those mores to have purpose and unselfish meaning in life. We're hopeful that this month of commemorating, celebrating, and learning will encourage all of us and stir us to spend our waking moments engaged with substantive things. May our students remember that they are more than clothes, shoes, cars, music, and hairstyles. May our students remember that they are more than athletics, dancing, instrument playing, singing, all of which are good. But may our students begin to realize that they are critical thinkers, problem solvers, inventors, leaders, and trendsetters. May our students realize that they are not complete as human beings unless they know and revere their history. May they have an appetite to learn about the Mali Empire and cities in it such as Timbuktu, Sangi, and the Askam Kingdom. May they learn about the real Egypt, Ethiopia, also known as Kingdom of Kush, Manapatapa. When you query many of these ancient places, nothing comes up and most spellings are incorrect. The entire African interior influenced all of cultures in the world, as written by Herodotus, who lived at least half a millennium before Christ. Where before any place on the planet was advanced, Africa, the dark, rich, and amazingly resourced continent of Africa, led the world literally in every aspect of human life. Maybe then, all of us will have a new and more progressive attitude, new expectations, new pride, new ways of thinking as we collectively begin to see and realize our potential. As the songwriter says, the Negro is spiritual. Ain't that good news? Lastly, to reference again that all-time best-selling novel that is mentioned on pages Acts 7 and 22, Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was mighty in words and deeds. What you don't know will kill you. Become enlightened.